what when it comes to tempo because obviously what we're talking about control decentric and concentric that's at least got something behind it mm -hmm. jeff nippard did some study saw him on tiktok talking about it how, how long do i need to take on that eccentric portion yeah it's a good question the literature we have so far as far as i'm aware of it and because i am science i'm very aware of it it didn't impress you no one's claimed on your show before that they are science itself you fused you are one first yes um it seems to not matter much anything between a repetition that in total takes one second including eccentric and concentric and all the way up to a total of nine seconds which is a lot of pain it seems to be that if you do more quick repetitions you can get more repetitions mm -hmm. if you seem to do slower repetitions you get fewer but each one has a lot more stimulus it's kind of like filling up a glass of a certain height if you go really slow it takes you longer you fill up the glass if you go really fast it doesn't take as long it fills up the glass the glass filling is what we want anyway there's a certain amount of stimulus you can drive to your muscles you could do it more slowly you could do it more quickly it doesn't seem to matter for hypertrophy however under control is the big caveat 